I'm converting this 125th scale MPC-77 Pontiac Trans Am into a fully functional RC vehicle. After getting the model kit unboxed and having a look at all the parts that are included, it's time to start building a chassis. We already have a RC chassis design available on Patreon for 3D printing called the FFR SE1 Sport that will fit this body just about perfectly. It's a nice blend of having some lifelike details such as a front mounted motor and a solid live axle in the rear, while also being relatively easy to 3D print and assemble. Having a purpose built RC chassis like this should make for a relatively simple and straightforward project, at least when compared to some of the more detailed builds I've done which involve mounting functional drivetrain and suspension components onto the chassis piece included in the model kit. Those projects look great and I love having that level of detail, but this project should be a little more simple to complete, at least I'm hoping that's the case. But aside from having the extra step of 3D printing your own parts and dealing with some pretty tiny hardware, the assembly process of the chassis is pretty easy overall and it wasn't long before I had it fully assembled and ready for the electronics and body to be mounted to it. I did go ahead and paint most of the chassis parts that you see here. Even though the chassis obviously isn't really the focal point, I think it looks better with some paint. Every detail will help enhance the look of the finished car, and one detail that I think will have an even greater impact is the wheels. I wasn't super happy with the detail on the wheels included in the kit, and I also wanted to have wheels that were specifically designed to fit the axles on this RC chassis. So after collecting some reference images and doing a bit of 3D modeling, I now have my own set of wheels. I made sure to design them so that they would fit those nice pad printed tires included in the kit. As you can see, the chassis is really coming together, but it'll need the electronics to be added before it can move on its own. Stay tuned for more on that process.